Hey guys. Hi. We are all packed up. I can't believe we got all the things we needed to get done just to get this trip going. But uh, we're gonna start this video off <laughs> with filling up this gas tank because we haven't put any gas in it since we bought it. Um, I'm guessing we had, we've driven it a bunch of times in a bunch of places, but we've, uh, it was full when we bought it. And so we're gonna gas up and then I've got like a little surprise for Carol before we start our adventure. But uh, first, I like it. yeah, but first let's gas up and uh, then we'll head on out west. Let's Bonk. go. There's the gas station. Uh, regular gas is a dollar ninety seven point six for regular gas and diesel. There's a little blue sign there and that's uh, two dollars and fifteen cents per liter. I have no idea how many liters this thing takes, but uh, I guess we're going to find out. First time gassing up diesel in a very long time. Coming up on 50. Just past 100. Coming up on 150. So it took uh, 160 bucks. That's stopping. Won't let me put any more in. Hey, she's full. Yeah, you can see the gas right up at the top there. Jeez. Don't want to fill it up too much. It just goes down the overflow. Uh, $159.64. And it wasn't 100% empty, so let's just figure out. The gas gauge is here. I want to reset the tripometer. And I think it's this button here. Yep. So it's the bottom zero button, and it reset to zero. Okay. So from here going forward, we'll see how many kilometers this thing gets. Okay. Let's move the van and then we'll open our presents. Oh, okay. Hi. Are you ready for your present? Yeah, mm. I love presents. There you go. <gasps> nice. We each get a, a suction cup mount for our phones because there's nowhere really to put our phones. Uh, they do have a few pockets and things here, but uh, we really like having the suction cup thingies. Oh. I'm just ripping it apart. Comes in pieces. Whoa! Oh. That wasn't supposed to happen. What is that? Um, oh, you got me a ring. A oh, ring. Oh, thank you. It's a bit too big. Can you have it sized? We can have it sized. I believe. I should from, be from Other one side. Yeah. I think you put the ring on there. Then you push this on. And then when you tighten that ring, it gives it some friction. Mm, I see. And I like these the best because they you just push to get your phone off and when you touch it shuts tight and it fits my phone perfectly but it's got this little protector on it and it's got like a little layer of goo just to help it stick to things uh like some of the dashboards have like a bit of a texture to it mm -hmm. and some of these things don't want to work with texture so right. i'm just trying to think where to put this that's so cool. Thanks, bud. No problem. So that's the spot it's going to live. I don't. Carol's going to have to uh, finagle with hers and figure out where she wants to put it. Yes. The dashboard, or sorry, the windshield is really far away mm -hmm. um, from <coughs> where you're sitting, so it's not like it's not like a car. And uh, yeah, it's like it's quite far. So you have to put that on. Put the ring on first, and then you're going to snap that on, and then thread this. Oh, so that there's snap. Snap. Did it snap? Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay. Got it. And again, the this one on the side is the up and down. This one is coming closer and farther away. Woo! Uh, there yeah, you go. need some more adjusting. There. There we go. Sam's coming with us. Sam. And the little froggy. And the frog. A moose. He's a Canada moose. Mm -hmm. 
And he's gonna be our mascot? Yeah, sure. Moosey. Moosey and Frog. All right, guys, we're headed out. Ready? We're going. We're out. Seatbelt. Seatbelt. Safety first, let's go. Coffee from Tim's first. Hi there, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a large black coffee please? Thank you. Have a good day. Got my coffee. Now we can get going. We are now headed north to one of the most famous restaurants on uh, Highway 11 and people in cottage country in Muskoka and people that are doing what we're doing, starting our travels to go right across Canada over to BC to stop at a famous place called Weber's. And Weber's has been around since- 1987. 1987, really? I just read it, yeah. Oh, I thought it was earlier than that for some reason. Well, maybe, but they thought they said. Yeah, 1987. And uh, they just your typical burger joint. So burgers, fries, hot dogs, milkshakes, then they even have clam chowder. I don't think so anymore. They don't have that anymore? It doesn't say it on the menu. Back in the day, I, like, I love my onion rings, as you guys know. And I wanted onion rings, and they're like, oh, we don't have onion rings. I'm like, you have clam chowder on the menu. Like, who stops at a burger joint for clam chowder? I don't. Anyway, it's only about 30 minutes up the road. We'll stop there, and we'll do our first food adventure with you guys. All right. purchased from the CN Tower. They used to have a bridge over a road way back in the 70s. And uh, people would stop on the other side of the highway and run across the highway just to get their, their burger fix. And so uh, Weber's, to stop that, put a parking lot on the other side and then bought that bridge and that stops people from running across the highway and getting smacked by a car. Hungry? Oh yeah. I'm gonna get a poutine. Me too. Really? Oh, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think you're getting a poutine. Fries and gravy. Fries and gravy. Let's do it. How you doing? Great, how are you? All right. Okay, yes, why? Go ahead. I'd like a hamburger, please. Yep. With fries and gravy. All right. What kind of wood do you like on your hamburger? We have mustard, ketchup, onion, tomato, pickles. Just ketchup? Yes, please. All right, and onion. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, the cheeseburger. Yep. Poutine. Yep. Chocolate shake. Yep. Please. On your cheeseburger? Uh, mustard, ketchup, onion, tomato, pickles. Yeah, I'll do the whole works. All of it? Please. All right, is that everything today? That's it. Can I oh. have uh, an iced cheese, please? Yep. Is it like nesty or something like yeah, that? Yeah, uh, it's breast. Okay. Is that okay? That's yeah, pretty that's good fine. stuff. Thank you. All right, is that everything? That's everything. All right, Denver Cash. What's your cash? Hey, something with the men or nothing? Thank you very much.
Thank you. That's awesome. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the kind of meal that thousands of Canadians driving up from Toronto to go up north and on their adventures get before their travels even start. So grab your drink, get that off there, and yeah, pull my drink off there. I think I have a holder. Do you have a holder down there? I do. Okay, but really? there's the fries. They have like typical um, McDonald's style fries. Yummy, thin. yummy. And they put a, um, um, a seasoning. A seasoning. Oh. Yes, they put seasoning mm. on it. Yeah, it's just like a seasoning salt. Mm. Yeah, good. And this is their poutine. Mm. Can you hold that for a second? Of course. So their, their cheese curds are all cut up nice and small. I don't think we grabbed a fork from them. Or did they give us a they fork? They did. Oh my goodness, they Here you rock. Go. Okay, let's do, let's do a quick taste mm. test of their poutine. Mm. Oh, you have gravy too. I do. Mm. I know. I did almost forget. Their cheese curds are not bad. And again, they broke them up nice and small just so that they would fit the in the in the container and not the biggest cheese curds I've ever had. What's that? They says they only use thorn low cheese curds made from 100% Canadian milk. And you can taste the difference. And that is wonderful. Yeah. I'm glad it's not a huge poutine. Yeah. Because huge poutine, you can't have something else with it because it's so much food. But it's a nice small poutine like that. That's your side right there. Look at that gravy. Do a little dip, Just mix it up. Oh yeah. It's not super thick. It doesn't it's stick not, mm. very well to the thing, but give it a shot. What do you think? It's good. And there is my poutine. Uh, the cheese curds are rocking. I wish their gravy was a little thicker so it would stick to things a little bit more, but other than that, it tastes great. Okay. Guess we won't know until we open it up. She almost flipped your burger across the room. I know. She spun it like that. Oh, you figured it out. Yeah, it's I definitely see heavier. A pickle sticking out. <laughs> what? What? There was a pickle. So you can see it's a fine oiled machine in there. Everybody has their little station and they're just like work and work and work and they're all helping each other with the burgers and the fries and and uh, it's amazing how uh, efficient they are. And uh, if we had come up past here Friday night, especially on a long weekend. The lineup would have been 100, 200 feet long uh, of people, and people don't care, and they will line up. How was it? Oh, the bun's super fresh. Check it that is. out. The bun's really good. I just realized as you started biting it and you mm -hmm. squashed the bun like that. It's nice. And I went with everything. So I did ketchup, mustard, onion, mm -hmm. tomato, pickle, and the guy ahead of us, he had a triple cheeseburger. Look at that. Good. Just grilled to perfection. It's good. Yeah. There's Carol's amazing loaded burger. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't have lettuce. <laughs> mm. That would be a loaded burger for you, wouldn't it? Yep. You don't like mustard, do you? I do, but mm. some mustards are not very tasty. That was one of my initial favorite things about A&W, is they always added mustard to their burgers. Uh -huh. The first time I ate their burger, I'm like, what is so different about this burger compared to other burger places? It was mustard. Like most people, most places don't just put mustard on it. So thanks A&W and thanks Weber's. This is a great burger, by the way. Now, I've stopped here many, many times, but I haven't been here in a couple years, at least maybe three. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's a tasty burger. Two more bites of this amazing burger. And I I believe they actually make their, their own patties and they also sell their patties in grocery stores all, all over Ontario, as far as I know. Oh, really? Yeah. So let me know if you are a Weber's lover and you stop at uh, Weber's charcoal broiled or charcoal barbecue hamburgers. If you stop there, let us know in the comments below. If you buy their burgers in uh, like stores, frozen patties, let us know. I think we've. I I think we've done it once. They have here, you can buy a bucket of burgers to take. Is that what it is? It's, mm -hmm. You're not actually buying cooked burgers, you're mm -hmm. buying 
just the patties? Is I'm that what not it was? sure. It just says it's a bucket of burgers to yeah. take home. So I would assume that they're frozen. Yeah. So hopefully uh, the people that are watching this video that have bought burgers from here and or at the grocery store will let us know where they bought it from. See how, yeah. see how far Weber's fingers reach into the community. Well, we're almost done our food. Uh, once we're finished, we're gonna get hit the road. But uh, next time you're zipping up Highway 11, drop by Weber's and grab a poutine because the poutine's great. The burgers are fantastic. I think next time I'm, I, we stop here, I'm definitely gonna get like a double cheeseburger. Um, another thing I wish Weber's did was bacon. I, yes. I don't think I saw bacon. No, no but bacon. I love bacon cheeseburgers. That's my favorite. Um, but other than that, Weber's is a fantastic, nostalgic place to stop and grab yourself some amazing food. Uh, there's also a Starbucks here now. And uh, yeah, let us know if you how many times a year you guys stop here. That would be great. It's a great area for parking. There's yeah, they have loads of parking. There are tons of washrooms back there as well places to walk your dog or walk around mm -hmm. yourself and stretch your legs so it's a it's a great little stopover I'd say about two three to five years ago the whole family stopped here <clears throat> we grabbed a huge bag of food and we went around the back there and they had a tons yeah, of uh, picnic tables, picnic tables. Mm -hmm. and it's all the grass is all nicely cut and it was um, very uh, a lot of fun a lot of fun it was good yeah all right, guys, we're going to polish this off, and we will see you in a little bit. I've already polished mine. <laughs> Yours is gone. He's talking to I talk too much. All done. Had a great meal. Uh, we have just punched into the computer that we want to probably make it to at least Wawa, which means we will be getting there probably around 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, if we can push it a little bit farther, we'll try and get to Marathon just to make the next day a little bit shorter because we want to get to Winnipeg uh, by tomorrow night. So let's do it. And there's a huge lineup now in front of Weber's. We came at the right time. Bye Weber's, thanks for lunch. Stopping for a pee break, and we are in the little town of Massey. Uh, it is 7:10 at night. Uh, we have traveled 444 kilometers uh, since we left home, and now uh, we might as well get gas while we're here, and uh, then do the potty break thing. But smooth sailing. What well, all my lights? There we go. Gotta get used to this stuff. Gotta get used to it. Oh, unfortunately, gas here is uh, what is it? Two forty. Yikes! So another hundred and thirty-five dollars and eighty cents. Carol's gonna drive for a bit. Nice. 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 So one of the first times Carol and I traveled out west, uh, we got stuck <laughs> between, and I think it's between Sault Ste. Marie and Wawa. There's like either zero gas stations back in the 90s. Oh yeah. And you basically, people always say up when you said back in the day, when you get to Wawa, I'm pretty sure it was Wawa. If you get to Wawa, make sure you gas up in Wawa because trying to get to Sault Ste. Marie, it, there's no gas station. So, and I think that was the stretch. Let me know in the comments below if I'm right or wrong. But uh, that's the last time Carol and I, no, yeah, I traveled by ourselves after that. Uh, the, 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 I think the second time we brought our dog, JC, 
Because we did it when we were dating, and then we did it when we were married. Yeah, why is it? Oh, there we go. It takes a while. All right, on the road again. Got a lot of these little towns with these cool little buildings. Dragonfly. Whoa. The Massey Motel. Mm. Got some train tracks. It might be a little noisy at nighttime. Yeah. Going through Iron Bridge. The only problem with driving west is when the sun is setting. You can't see nothing. Pretty river. Oh, there's an iron bridge. just uh, probably find a rest stop just north of the city. 